That's right. They're telling us that that home invasion led to a shootout with a deputy, and now the suspect and a person who lived in this area are both dead. Use caution. There was shots fired at law enforcement. A home invasion and a shootout with police leaves two people dead in a small, shaken rural community. We have not been able to get to our house. Everything has been blocked off and we've never had anything like this happen before. Joni Westenberger has lived in Kewaskum for 22 years. Police would not let her drive home as it was within an active crime scene. Is it at all scary to think that the crime scene is close to your home? It's very scary because we just want to be sure that everything is safe and that we're able to get back into our house safely. Someone on Forest View Road called 911 around 3 in the afternoon Wednesday, saying a man forced themselves into their home and demanded car keys. While deputies responded to the call, a neighbor also dialed 911, saying they heard gunshots and saw a man with a weapon. When deputies arrived, a shootout started between them and the suspect, who ran. Officers later found the suspect dead from a gunshot wound. Back at the first house, they also found someone dead outside. A witness said the suspect shot that resident. There's just police everywhere. About a mile down the road, another local captured this video from his home near 144 and Highway H. While I was coming home in the SWAT unit and police were flying by me and, um, they pulled in front of a car right at 144 and 8, and the SWAT had the guy get out of the car. They um, went to his knees, they arrested him. That had to be so scary for those people there. Courtney, what is the sheriff's office saying about the video of those arrests and that flipped car we saw in the road from News Chopper 12? So Joyce, I asked the sheriff's office about both of those things and they tell me at this time they are still actively investigating and they cannot comment further on the events that led up to this shootout. We'll get more information in the days ahead. Courtney Sisk reporting.